children of Uganda, the part of Africa, very early in their lives, quite often find themselves shouldering the burdens of society. The largest percentage of these inhabitants of the capital city are deprived of proper sanitation, and children growing up in such conditions cannot be spared. The youths coming through such hardships find it impossible to earn a living or find a suitable income generating activity. Some of these youths resort to the transport sector, while others, when disillusionment sets in, turn to crime. On the other hand, sports playing a very big part in people's leisure time, some of these youths find themselves turning to gambling through sports betting in a hope of earning some quick money, yet in reality losing much of their meager incomes. Whereas in the rural areas of Uganda, where the exodus of the older youths has left a very big burden, very old and very young, many children find themselves participating in most of the daily activities of the family. Most of these families cannot afford education, but those that attend public school are expected to first fulfill their duty of fetching water before going to school. Such cannot compete favorably with the rest in the country. These hardships have not spared the environment, as many people practice deforestation in a quest for firewood for the day-to-day -day preparation of a meal. As a sustainable culture program, we believe helping young stars like these, there is a viable chance of improving their lifestyles, offering them trainings in sustainable agricultural techniques and processing with a commercial target to help them contribute the family income. I am Kavma Everest, son of George Monje. I primarily used to lay bricks and help out my father in the garden. Prior to participating in a sustainable agriculture program training, as a youth, I decided to try and put the skills I had acquired into practice to create a living for myself. On top of the agriculture practices like nursery bed reparations and processing techniques, I was told, we had special sessions that addressed our general lives as youths, which I found very useful. I thank my father for the opportunity of having learned all that I did. I as well have prepared my business by purchasing a container to kickstart my life, as we were encouraged to be job creators and not job seekers. With youth like Everest succeeding in their lives, more youth have benefited from such initiatives by the Sustainable Culture Program. The members of Mukama Waman Youth Group have been able to grow their skills into a village bank through collectivity. Another youth impacted by this intervention is Bena Nagakendo of Tutebe. A business study student from Makere University Business School says she came to know of sustainable agriculture program through her mother. Her mother was an active member and always involved all the children from the early ages in all her work. It was from there that Bernard developed a passion for poultry. Every holiday after school, her mother would allocate some birds to the children and these would look after individually. Once these were sold off, the proceeds would go to their school fees and pocket money. It was during her sixth vacation that she too decided to invest in poultry and the proceeds she has realized have helped her contribute to her university tuition and have some reserve money to spend on her needs as youth. She says she started out with just 50 birds and now they are close to 300. By impacting youth like this, we target the creation of a society with a lower dependency ratio. You too can help us make a difference in these people's lives.